is because we do need all of those seats that we have reserved. Thank you. Canadian Citizenship 
wants to help you celebrate your first year of citizenship with Canoe, a mobile app that provides new Canadian citizens with free admissions to over 1,400 museums, science centers, art galleries, and parks all across the country. All you have to do is download the free Canoe app, available for both iPhones and Android devices. All the information you need to register is on the leaflet that was given to you. Your membership is valid for 12 months from today, so don't wait to get started. Download the Canoe app to make your first year of citizenship a year to remember. There is some important information you, that you need to know regarding your citizenship certificate. The citizenship certificate is your legal status document, not an identity or travel document. Its sole purpose is to prove your Canadian citizenship. A valid Canadian passport is the only reliable and universally accepted travel document that proves you have the right to enter Canada. Canadian citizens, including dual citizens who do not have a valid Canadian passport and present a foreign passport or other document during airport check-ins may face delays or be prevented from boarding their flight to Canada. Before applying for a Canadian passport or other government services, please wait at least two business days after the ceremony to allow time for our department to enter confirmation in our system that you are now a Canadian citizen. When you receive your certificate, please ensure that the information on the front and back of your certificate is correct. If you notice any errors or if you have any questions, you can see me or a staff member follow the ceremony. And lastly, you should hold on and safeguard your record of landing or confirmation of permanent residence document, as you may be required to show it at a later time, such as at retirement age when you need to obtain your old age security or pension benefits. And before we start the ceremony, we ask that you switch any electronic devices, including your cell phone or tablet devices, onto silent or vibrant mode. This is to ensure that the ceremony is not interrupted and does not disturb everyone around you. We are now ready to proceed. Enjoy your ceremony. All rise. Everyone, please be seated. Today, we are honored to have Suzanne Carrier as the citizenship judge for today's ceremony. Judge Carrier is Canada's first Métis citizenship judge who was appointed in June 2018. Judge Carrier primarily works from the Immigration, Refugee, and Citizenship Office located in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So we are very excited and happy to have her preside over the citizenship ceremony. I would now like to invite presiding official Judge Carrier to come up to the podium for her opening remarks. Good afternoon. Welcome to all of you to today's Canadian citizenship ceremony. So show of hands, where are those 95 people becoming Canadian today? Boy, very special welcome to all of you. How are you feeling? Great. You're ready? You're excited? Excellent. Bienvenue tous à cette cérémonie de citoyenneté et à une très spéciale au 95 personnes. Parmi nous qui deviennent de citoyens canadiens aujourd'hui. 
And I want to begin the ceremony by acknowledging that it's taking place on Treaty 4 lands, on the traditional territory of the Cree, Ojibwe, Soto, Dakota, Nakota, and Lakota, and the homeland of the Métis Nation. Now you probably already know that Indigenous and non-Indigenous people in this country are all moving forward together on the path to reconciliation. But what does that word mean exactly? Well, Senator Murray Sinclair, who was the chair of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, he explained it beautifully. He said that reconciliation turns on a very simple concept, which is, I want to be your friend, and I want you to be my friend. And I think that explanation is beautiful in its simplicity, because I think the word reconciliation can sound complicated or complex, but friendship, I think, is something that all of us can understand. And so today I strongly encourage all of you to think about how you might be a friend and to think about what you might do to advance that friendship, whether that's in your homes, your communities, your workplaces, what have you. Because reconciliation with Indigenous people is a responsibility shared by all Canadians, even new Canadians, such as you're about to become. I also want to mention that this week, from November 18 to 24, is Canada History Week. And this provides Canadians throughout the country with opportunities to learn more about the people and the events that have shaped our great nation. And Canada is full of unique people, places, and events, and Canada History Week is a great time to discover them. And of course, immigration is an important part of our Canadian history, and immigrants to Canada have helped shape this nation and continue to do so. And as new Canadians, you share now Canada's history you are a part of it, and you will help shape its future. Donc, mon nom est Suzanne Carrière, et mes ancêtres ont migré au Canada de la France il y a quelques 350 ans. Au début, ils sont établis au Québec, mais finalement, ils sont rendus au Manitoba, où un entré épousé une femme autochtone de la nation Cree. So, in the world of citizenship, we always like to talk about where people come from. So, my ancestors came from France to Canada about 350 years ago. Initially, they settled in Quebec, but eventually they made their way west to Manitoba, where one of them married a woman from the Cree Nation. So that tells you a few different things about me. Uh, one, I have relatively deep roots here in Canada. So my, my family's been here for hundreds and hundreds of years and several generations. Two, I am both French Canadian and Métis. And three, because of my background, my own journey to become a Canadian was incredibly simple. So simple, in fact, it can be summed up in just four little words. I was born here. That's it. I personally didn't do anything special to deserve this incredible privilege. It was just plain a luck on my part. Kind of like winning a lottery. And that's what it feels like, like I've won the citizenship lottery. But just because it was easy for me does not mean that I take it for granted. In fact, every day of my life I feel incredibly grateful to be a Canadian. But for 95 of you here today, your journeys were not quite so simple. First, you had to make that difficult decision to leave your home country and family and friends behind. And then once you arrived here in Canada, you had to work hard, you had to study hard, you had to adjust to a new culture, a new climate. Many of you have had to learn a new language, and all of you have had to make a new home in an unfamiliar country. I recognize the courage, the hard work, and the determination it took for each of you to be here today. And I realize there were challenging times along the way, but you persevered, you embraced this new country, and now here you are, ready to take this next exciting step. Becoming a Canadian is something very special. In fact, I'm willing to bet that today, November 21st, 2019, is a day you'll remember for the rest of your lives. Honestly, we hear this all the time from people who've been through these ceremonies before. And that's because of this honor of becoming Canadian comes incredible rights or privileges. Like the right to live free of discrimination and persecution, the right to express your opinion without fear, the right to practice your religious faith, the right to vote, and the right to live and work in any province or territory. But as you all know now, having been through this process, there is a flip side to all that, because Canadian citizenship uh, also entails responsibilities, like obeying our laws, 
like taking responsibility for yourselves and for your families, voting in our elections, and also helping others. And that includes volunteering, which is a vital component of our Canadian society. And so I sincerely hope that each and every one of you will share your talents, your strengths, and your cultures, and work towards building an even better and an even stronger Canada by volunteering. Now, as you all know, Canada is a proudly bilingual country with two official languages, and this linguistic duality is an integral part of our Canadian identity and a fundamental value of our country. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the Official Languages Act of Canada, which was the federal statute that made English and French our official languages. That act also enshrines your right to be served in the official language of your choice when you deal with the federal government. Comme vous savez, le Canada est un pays qui est bilingue avec deux langues officielles, et cette dualité linguistique est une partie intégrante de l'identité canadienne et de la fondamentale sur laquelle repose le pays. Cette année marque le 50e anniversaire de la loi sur les langues officielles du Canada, qui est la loi qui a institué l'anglais et le français comme nos langues officielles. Cette loi reconnaît aussi votre droit d'être servi dans la langue officielle de votre choix, lorsque vous faites affaire avec le gouvernement. Another defining feature of being Canadian is our freedom, and as you become new Canadians today, take a moment to remember that our freedom was not free at all. Thousands of brave Canadians have fought and died so that we could all enjoy these rights and freedoms. The commitment to Canada for men and women in uniform should never be forgotten or go unrecognized. So now each of you here today was about to become a new Canadian. Each of you has your own story as to how and why you chose Canada. Thank you for choosing us. But regardless of where you're from and regardless of the path you've taken to get here, the good news is you are here, you've made it, and you're about to become Canadian. So now this is the part you've all been waiting for, the swearing of the oath of citizenship, which of course is the last step in the process to become Canadian. Those of you becoming new Canadians, you need to take what you're saying to heart because when you swear these oaths, you're declaring your loyalty to Canada and promising to always do your best for Canada. We've got almost a full, full house here today, so I'm guessing some of you are already Canadian. I ask that you also swear these oaths of citizenship. If you're here to support one of our new Canadians, then you'll both have a lifelong memory of swearing these oaths together. And even if you're not here to support anyone in particular, uh, spread the oath anyway, and I promise you that you will feel a little better, you will stand a little taller, just knowing that you've reaffirmed your citizenship in one of the greatest countries on earth. So we'll start here in just a second, and when we do, I will say the oath first in English, and I ask that you please repeat both of the oaths with me. Presiding official Judge Carrier, in accordance with the provisions of the Citizenship Act, it is my privilege to present to you 95 candidates from 15 countries for citizenship who have complied with the requirements of the Citizenship Act and are now ready to take the oath of citizenship and become Canadian citizens. The oath of citizenship will be administered in both official languages Please use the language of your choice or vote. Would the candidates for citizenship please stand? <laughs> Guests are also invited to stand and reaffirm their citizenship. If you choose to swear the oath on a holy book, please place the holy book in your left hand. I would like to remind the candidates that they must repeat the oath of citizenship after the presiding official. Now please raise your right hand and repeat the oath of citizenship after the presiding official, Judge Carrier. I swear. Yeah. 
délégation de citoyens canadiens. Certificates of Citizenship. When I can remember, there will be time for photographs following the ceremony.
Sejo Joseph Asha George. Mohammed Akbar Sharif, Seema Akbar, and Piroz Sharif. Khalifa Mohammed Saleh Al Dusti. Michael Petron. <laughs> Gurpayar Singh Smart and Manjo Singh Smart. Dheeraj Moti Motwani Jawad Rashid Harshbir Singh Kima. Faisal Haq Ansari and Umara Aisha Ansari. Lakshmi Rani Putan Baju.
Norway J. Casino Takardon, Georgina Ashley Takardon Cartoriza, and Mackenzie Takardon Cartoriza.
directly from the new Canadians, so uh, thank you for putting your hand up. I don't know, maybe you didn't even want to speak, maybe you just had a, a tennis scratch or something, who knows? But uh, I saw something out of the corner of my eye, so be careful, that's a warning to the rest of you. It's like being at an auction, like you might want to keep your hands very close to your sides, otherwise I might call you up and say something. Uh, it, it really is nice, though, to hear at these ceremonies like this, this day is about you. It's nice to hear in your words, uh, in your voices, what this, what this day means to you. So thank you to all of you who did uh, submit uh, some address. Oh, look at that, we've got another hand up. All right. <laughs> Yeah. 
testimonies is when people come up and talk. I get tired of hearing my own voice and my own speech, but uh, it's so, so nice to hear from you guys. So again, thank you to everybody uh, who submitted something, who came up and said something. Uh, it just adds a lot to the ceremony. Okay, I swear we're going to wrap this up now. Uh, you know, throughout our history, millions of immigrants have helped build this country, our country. Canada welcomes people from more than 150 different countries each year, and it is thanks to Canada's amazing diversity, not in spite of it, but because of it, that Canada has become a new role model for the world. And now, as Canadian citizens, you are all ambassadors. You're ambassadors for the greatest, freest, richest, and most beautiful nations that's ever existed in the history of this planet. You are Canadians. So in just a moment, we will sing our national anthem together, but just before we get to that, I would like to thank a few people up here who have made this ceremony possible. Uh, assisting the clerk today, we have friends, Jacqueline and Pam. These are some of the citizenship officers who process your applications, they administer your tests, they prepare these ceremonies, uh, basically to help get you all the way to this point where you can now all call yourselves Canadian. And one person who does all that, plus who brought this ceremony together, that's the clerk of this ceremony, has never cannot. So thank you to all of you. I mentioned earlier that this is a day of life we never forget. The same actually applies to me as well because I'll never forget that I had the honor and the privilege of participating in this ceremony with each and every one of you. And I'll never forget that somebody actually, or a few people actually took me up on my offer to say a little something to me. Uh, so anyway, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Merci, miigwech. And one more time to all of you, congratulations and welcome to our Canadian family. Oh, this is falling apart here. Please test song to us and give you the grand family Canadian. Now everyone, please all rise for the singing of our national anthem. We encourage you to join us and sing it loudly with pride. Today you will be singing O Canada for the very first time as a Canadian citizen. This is now your national anthem. Today we will sing a bilingual version of the Canadian anthem. You may choose to sing in either English, French, or in both languages. The words to O Canada are included in the program provided to you. This citizenship ceremony is now closed. Please remain standing while the presiding official leaves the stage. Everyone, please be seated. I would like to thank the staff at the Delta Regina for helping with today's event. If you would like to stay for photographs with the presiding official, please feel free to come down to the front, forming a line here on my right to your left. Congratulations again and enjoy the rest of the day.